Well, hello, boys and girls. <clears throat> the uh, it's Monday today, a day after the uh, uh, well lubed uh, twister competition yesterday, which went extremely well. It was a grudge match between the Clairview Cream Pies and the Mournville Moist Bottoms. Mournville uh, has now lost four uh, contests in a row by only one red on our hand on blue it's uh uh every time they've failed to put hand on blue to uh to finish it off and uh i don't know what's going to happen there i think that maybe they might be looking at uh to uh looking at a different coach uh uh it's that's really not a, mis a mistake that shouldn't be happening at this level you know what i'm saying but uh, anyways, um, the uh, it went really well, and now we are two days away from trade deadline. So uh, it's been very busy for me with all of the uh, preparing and uh, bringing in the uh, um, Jaime's body lube, as you know that uh, we we use for the event. Uh, it's getting so big that now we are st we we have dispensers in the uh, basement, so people don't have to uh, go outside and grab some more, which is working well as well. And I thank you for all your letters. Yes, my nap ratios are right on track now. Uh, as you can tell, I, I I look more rested. I'm able to get in 12 to 13 naps a day, so it's doing well. Uh, we are uh, being on the trade deadline. Uh, I'm not really going to be talking about teams now. I'm going to talk more about rumors, and there's a really good juicy rumor going out there that uh, the Edmonton Oilers might be trading Eberle, and, uh, uh, which I think has been on the block for quite a while. Uh, they haven't been able to find uh, their need on defense uh, for with that trade. It, nothing seems to have worked out so far, but I think it could be happening this trade deadline. I think this could be the big one. If there's a, if there's a big trade this, this uh, time, this one could be it. And uh, it looks like uh, it makes perfect sense that he would go to the Islanders, uh, who definitely need somebody to, uh, have been looking for quite some time for somebody to play alongside Tavares. Uh, the lad acquisition didn't work out, and Ocpozo, uh, wh who they had, didn't seem to like the idea of their uh, um, arena uh, problems that they were having and decided to head off to Buffalo. Uh, but, hey, talking about that, New York Islanders fans, I hear that you have a deal in Queens for your uh, new facilities, and if that's the case, awesome awesome for you. Uh, I'm glad. I, I, I hope this is all over with and you don't have to deal with it anymore because um, it's been a pain in the ass. Uh, just period. Even for the league. It looks bad for the league, not just for your team itself. Um, I got something. See that? I got something on my face. That was horrible. I don't know what. Oh, yes. That's right. That's from the uh, confetti we used with the uh, the winner yesterday, we get we throw confetti like it's a wedding when they're done. It's really cool. You got to check it out sometime. Go to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom on YouTube to hear more about uh, the Lube Twister. Anyways, my thinking is that the Edmonton Oilers will trade the uh, trade Everlay to the Islanders, possibly for Hemnick. Now that would mean that they would need another right winger, uh, or they could bring up Pay You Harvey or Pay You Harvey. You know, I somebody on my um, uh, feed on uh, my YouTube. Uh, uh, commented and said that I didn't know how to say Peggy U. Harvey's name, so I didn't know much about what I was talking about. Well, you probably you might be right about that, but I don't know how you say his name properly. I don't think I think commentators have a difficult time with it. But um, if they could bring him up if he's ready, and maybe that's what they're thinking. But I think it's more likely that they probably have a uh, right winger in mind that they would use, and they would trade for Hamannek, or they could look at possibly uh, Strom, who has been up and down in, in the island ever since he's been there, and uh, Dahan, who is a very underrated defenseman, I guess. Um, I'm not really th so thrilled about that. I like Strom, but actually I'm not as much of, I'm not really sold on Dahan. Um, I would be really happy with Hamannick if they could pull Hamannick out of there, because Hamannick was 
um, looking to head that direction when he had apparently, and thank you for your letters of uh, information because I need those, uh, I need that, that information helps me a lot. I'm trying to cover the whole league. So if you're a fan of a team, you're probably going to know a lot of things I don't. And I have been informed through your letters that uh, Hamannick had uh, illness in the family. And that's the reason why he was asking to get traded closer to Manitoba, I think it was. Uh, he's from Winnipeg or something like that. And uh, so there they could be close and help out in that uh at that time, I was not aware of this, and I thank you for your letters for that. Now, I imagine it wouldn't behoove them to go there anyways and still be close to their family. So, Hamannick still could make a lot of sense, and I would love, love, love to have him on on, uh, on the Oilers. Um, you know what? With my minutes of pre preparation that I did, you wouldn't believe this, but I didn't come up with whether he was a righty or a lefty. I don't know. Please comment below to let me know. If he's a righty, it's a guarantee. In fact, I would imagine that we would have to give up more than Everlay in order to get him. Uh, that's how valuable they are. Uh, Right-handers are extremely valuable, as you can tell by the whole trade. I don't like to say that out loud because it was such a bad trade. But uh, uh, it's it, it, it was a bad trade in a sense, but we did need defense on the right-hand side, and right-hand defensemen are extremely hard to find, which is why I say that this trade works in a lot of ways. I think they'd probably be more inclined to try to pawn DeHaan off us, but I wouldn't uh, trade him unless I'm getting Hamannick back. Um, yeah, so we have an exciting trade deadline coming up. Uh, a lot of people are saying there isn't going to be many trades and it's going to not work because of the expansion. I think there is going to be uh, significant trades and I also think, but I think they're going to be smaller and they're going to be a lot to talk about. The trades that happen are going to be very interesting and give us a lot to talk about. And that's good because I could talk hockey all day and I'm pretty sure I just gave you my full 42%. Remember, um, my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, go there, subscribe, boys and girls. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button because if you do that, I may actually get equipment that it looks professional. And uh, hey, that would be something, wouldn't it? Lots of love to you guys. Have a great day.